Hey there fans of Murder and Mayhem, welcome back to Frybox64 Productions. I'm your hostess with the mostest, Frybox64. Very comfortable on this rather cold day, as you can see. And we are going to be doing a bit more bit life. Now, I know we didn't finish up Masa's life uh, so far yet on the series here. I do need to get that video finished and uploaded. And I have at least a couple more videos that I need to upload as well. I know I skipped a couple of days. Uh, one night I had my family over and my brother was back in town and so I spent the day the evening with them and uh, then last night I had D&D with my friends and that just kind of took up the entire day. So uh, hopefully we'll get back on track here. I have today and tomorrow off so hopefully we'll do a double upload. If not then we'll try to get the extra video in when we can. Uh, but for right now we have, uh, like I said, new BitLife bit, uh, episode for you here. Um, this is going to be um, us trying to finish the Ghostbusters challenge. There's a new challenge out on BitLife. I don't know if it's new, new, or if they keep bringing it out every once in a while, but it's called the Ghostbusters challenge, and uh, we're going to get into the specifics on that. We're going to try to beat it today, so here we go. So uh, we have randomly generated uh, Terry Harry. He lives in... We're going to decide this now... Uh, you know what? Let's, uh, you know, Rosario. Rosario's fine. Rosario, Argentina, and we are going to start Terry's life. <laughs> okay. Now, the thing with the Ghostbusters challenge is you got three main things that you need to accomplish. One, you have to live in or emigrate to the USA, which we can absolutely do when he's older. Two, become an exorcist. And three, perform ten exorcisms in your own haunted houses. We're going to see if we can do this with our random choices. The only prob the only stipulation is we're going to be doing random rolls, but every year we are going to do at least one or two things that will help us uh, get closer towards our goal of uh, becoming a Ghostbuster. So without further ado, here we go. We have Terry Harry, who was born a male in Rosario, Argentina. He was conceived on his parents' honeymoon. Birthday is December 7th, excuse me, he's a Sagittarius. Father is Santo Harry, a receptionist at 45. Mother is Zara Harry, an insurance agent at 22. We have a family pussycat named Merlina. What in the absolute heck is with these age differences? Oh my gosh. So, there we do. We do indeed have a... Aw, oh, what's Merlina? Aw, oh, she's a Himalayan. She's freaking crazy. All right, so here we go. So because we can't do anything the first like few years of her life, we're just going to age up really quick. You're learning new things to do with your body and are trying to decide which activity is most fun. We also have a surprise me dice. So instead of rolling a d4 on these things, we're going to roll a d6. And on a 5, it's the dice, and d6 is our choice. So we roll a 2. And we're going to go scribbling with crayons. I had fun scribbling with crayons. Let's age it again. Vaccination. Uh, let's see. Your mother is taking you to the doctor's office to get vaccinated. How will you behave? Uh, surprise me. Oh, we are going to bite her. Yes, Terry does not want to get vaccinated. Okay, and it's here where we can start. Yep, this is here where we can start having our interactions. Uh, it's that. Even spend time with mom. We took our mom bungee jumping. Hold on, hold on, hold on. At the age of three, we took our mom bungee jumping. Explain to me how this makes sense. Eh, eh, all right, whatever, that's cool. All right, and we're gonna spend time with dad as well. Build a sand castle and a sandbox at the park. That is more something that I would imagine a kid doing, you know? Like, I, I would totally imagine a kid doing that. I'm gonna age up. While playing at the park, a big haired colorful lady who is having a conversation with your mother squeezes your cheek and attempts to pick you up. How will you react? Oh, how is little Terry Harry gonna react to this? Um, uh, surprise me. I allowed a strange looking woman to hold me at the park. Oh no. I have a feeling Terry Harry is not going to survive very long at this rate. So, okay. Uh, Alright, so we're going to end up again. Free kick. You have an opportunity to play in a kid's soccer league. What will you do? Ooh. Terry, what you going to do? Not a chance. He does not want to be part of that soccer league, I guess. I'm wondering if there can be anything better than coloring. He wants to be an artist, but he's going to be an exorcist. I'm sorry, Terry. That is the will of the universe. <laughs> uh, you're starting primary school. Little Dora's... Little Dora's primary school. Oh, it's a private school. Hey. How Just out of curiosity, how rich are your parents? Oh, man. Dude, dad is loaded. Dad's loaded. 
Mom's pretty rich. Wow. God, if they can buy him a cockatiel. Oh, we got a cockatiel named Cuddles. Yes. <laughs> we got a cockatiel named Cuddles. Oh, I really hope Erlina does not eat the cockatiel. Because if she does, I'm going to be sad. Yes, I color code my dice. All right. One, three, six, nine, ten. Oh, that wasn't a d20, but oh well. We're asking our parents to adopt Daryl. Oh! Oh, we got the most generous parents in the world. I think I think Terry's parents feel guilty that they can't give him a younger sibling, so they're getting him like pets. So he's got a cockatiel and a cat now. Three, four, yes, we're gonna play with the cuddles cockatiel. Okay, now we gotta be careful that we don't land on release because if we release that poor little thing into the wild, ah, it down bounced outside the dice arena. Of course, we have to release the parakeet and the cockatiel into the wild. You set your cockatiel cuddles free after determining that it was no longer fair subjected to the rule of humans. Uh, your classmate Milton just flipped her desk over. Milton, okay, just flipped her desk over while your teacher, Mrs. Devez, stepped out of the room. What will you do? Um, it says it's a her, but it says him. I um, okay, okay. I mean, if she feels gender fluid at the age of like seven, that's not. My place to judge, I guess. Oh, we are attacking him, apparently. Because apparently flipping over their desk warrants an attack. We are going to elbow his throat. Oh, no. Oh, no, you elbowed your classmate Milton's throat, then you bit his heel, leaving a bite mark. And nothing happened. Oh, my gosh, Terry, you are so lucky. Why did you not... Oh, oh, well, why did you not play trap for sports? You would have been amazing, dude. Oh, we're messing with her. Apparently Terry's gonna be a freaking troublemaker. Yes, let's mess with her. You randomly shut off the computer that your classmate Zandra was working on, causing her to lose all of her unsaved work. Oh, do they... Is their last name first and their first name... I'm confused. What? Oh, and, and there was no consequences again. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <gasps> it's because his parents are rich. That's gotta be it. And we're going to release that one into the wild. So you brought your cat Daryl to a safe and clean alley so that he could be adopted by a gang of alley cats. Why are you doing this? Explain to me why you're releasing all of your cats. Okay, fourth, my choice. Uh, let's go. Please, please, please don't release Erlina. Erlina does not deserve to be set free in the wild. And we are releasing everything. Eat all the chipmunks your heart's desire. Oh my gosh. We have, over the course of two years, we have gotten... Two pets, and then release every single pet that we own. Okay. Your parents just had a troublemaker. Lobo Diaz. Oh, man. Kid's name is Lobo. Before class, you see your classmate Lobo take a calendar out of your teacher, Mr. Martinez's desk, and throw it out the window. What will we do? Um, we shall charge him. As you do when you see your classmates goof up. Oh, no. You scratched your classmate Lobo's skull. Then you jabbed his tooth with my fingers and drop kicked his tooth. <laughs> Wait, what? Did you just pull my fingers through the screen and do it? Just... Oh my gosh, that's hmm. that would explain why I wake up. If if you grab my own fingers, pull them through the screen on my phone, and then jab somebody's teeth with them, that would explain why I wake up with a numb arm in the middle of the night sometimes. My choice. Uh, you know what? My previous character did not have a very successful love life, so you know what? We're gonna start going out with her. Uh, you are now going out with your classmate Faqueza, Faqueza Pere, Pera, Peraire. <laughs> I butchered that. <laughs> Terry, Terry is just a freaking, like, troublemaker. You have an opportunity to take lessons from with a famous music teacher in your town. Which instrument will you choose? I, I guess I don't get to to choose not to do this one here. So, okay, D6 is going to be my choice. Five, surprise me! I, I, I said surprise me! Trumpet. <laughs> I took trumpet lessons and learned to play What a Wonderful World by Louis Armstrong. Here we go. Uh, we took my case of mountain climbing. Took her father to an escape room. I uh, went to get henna tattoos with the mom. Took little sister Anna to a cafe and took little brother Gerald to fly a drone. You know what? That's not too bad. I can get behind that. Aging up. Family vacation. Now you want to bring him on the family vacation. Is it because he skipped school? Why do all of my bit life characters wind up being troublemakers? I don't get this. Your parents want to take you and your siblings on a family vacation to Prague? Prague? That surprised me. 
be appreciative of them. And we didn't really enjoy it, but... <laughs> so, assets! The only thing we can do is social media. So let's sign up for my choice, which is always YouTube. YouTube is always the first thing that I sign up for whenever it's my choice, every single time. Because I love my YouTubing community. Wow, come back here. I just want to kind of talk a little bit as I do some more of this uh, dice rolling here. Uh, so my major goal for my YouTube channel right now, the immediate goal, is to get 2,000 views on the channel, like on collectively all the videos, before the end of the year. And we are super duper close. Last time I checked, I was at 1,923 views, which is super good. I was so happy about that. And what is this? Three, six, seven, eight. Okay. But I was super happy about that. So, I mean, yeah, I would really, really love everybody's support in helping put just a few more views on the channel. If I only get 2,000 views this year and that's it, I will be happy. I will have made my goal. So, I'm, I'm really happy with where the channel's at right now. It could be better, it could be worse, but hey, I'm happy. Signing up for TikTok. Nice. All right, so Terry Harry has his YouTube account and his TikTok account. That is where he's going to record all of his exorcisms and get all the views and get all the fame. And he's going to be great. And can you tell I've had coffee today? Oh, jeez, I don't know if he's going to be able to. Okay. Uh, what you going to do, Terry? <laughs> uh, compliment their leader. Ah, uh, he ignored you. Eh, so what? Who cares? You got your girlfriend and you got your accounts. You're fine. Aging up. Your mother and father have divorced. Oh no! Who could have seen it coming with the 23 year age gap? Certainly not me! <laughs> oh, nice. I've joined the agriculture club. Yes, three, six. Dungeons and Dragons Club! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Okay, uh. Yeah, I might use my like one free turn and just be like, join the Dungeons and Dragons Club. I might just. Okay, that's it. I'm enacting the one free turn from the DM per round, just so I can join the D the D and D club. I have to. I have to, man. Okay, so all right. So let's do. If at the end of the year we haven't joined the D and D club, we're joining the D and D club. I'm sorry, that's happening. I'm using my uh my one point from last time to go and join D and D. There we go because I wanted to, and I'm using my one point for this year to, um, let's see. You know what, it's not going to 100% help what I'm doing here, but it does say that Fakeza and Terry have been together for five years, and I do want to do something nice for her. So typically when I play my games uh, by myself, I like to give them a little gift for anniversaries, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to give her a little gift, and... You know what? Single red rose is pretty romantic, so let's give that to her. I guess she didn't really like it, but oh well, we tried. All right, we are now a lifeguard. Terry Harry is a lifeguard. I find this ironic since he like punched out the majority of his classmates. <laughs> okay, and he decided to resign as soon as he got his first babysitting gig. He's like, Nah, I don't want to be a lifeguard anymore. I want to be a full-time babysitter. True colors, your father, your father has just come out of the closet as gay. How will you respond? Oh gosh. Think carefully, Terry, about what we do here. Support him unconditionally. There you go. Aww. Well, I mean, that'll explain why they got divorced, but when did you get glasses? And why was I not involved in the glasses choosing process? Your mother has married your new stepfather, Lionel Iglesias. A 38-year-old receptionist. They went to Singapore for their honeymoon. He's not very kind. He has, like, no money. This is a down... Skid marks prohibited. You failed your driving test. Oh, boy. Oh, and this is where we bump it up to a D20 on what we do. So, oh, we can't drive. This is the problem. Uh, okay. So, are we going to apply to university? Or... Oh, he can go to university at like age 17. I did not realize that. Okay, so let's do D4. College is not for me. Your parents are concerned with your eyesight and are taking you for an eye exam. I already had glasses. Oh, gosh. How oh, fudge. Okay. S. Yes, you passed your eye exam and do not need eyeglasses. Oh, nice. We're spending time with everybody. Here we go. You invested time in six relationships and your stepfather refused to spend time with you. The jerk. 
took Vaqueza to a bar, father took him grocery shopping, uh, stepfather refused to go to the driving range, took mom to pick flowers, Anna practiced with the yo in the park, Gerald went to the circus, and Gunter went to play dominoes. Awesome. So you know what, let's go ahead. I think that is enough for this time around. Uh, so we're just, yeah, we're just going to sit here and we're going to save up money to move to the U.S. That is what I have to point out here. While resting my head on my girlfriend Vaquesa's lap and getting my head rubbed, she farted. <laughs> Was that on purpose? Or First, we're going to get our driver's license. That is the big thing that I want to do. What does this sign mean? Uh, Y intersection. Yes, there we go. So we got the driving test, which ensures that we're going to get a job because I know a lot of these places will not hire you if you do not have a driver's license. So we need that. We need that. That is the one thing that I'm doing to push us towards uh, getting that this year. So, all right. Oh, 15. All right. So we're going to let you're feeling very strong heterosexual tendencies. Uh, you know what? Just come out. Your girlfriend, Fakeza, has left you. Yep, because you came out as gay. It's like, I don't... I don't know what else you thought was going to happen, Terry. <sighs> Terry, we need to sit down and have a talk. You are not going to get into the military as an officer because you don't have a degree. That's just not going to happen. We're going to go to the horse track. Um... Two, three, four, five. All right. If it's a six, we're just going to watch. One, two, three. Hidden jewel. And we got one last chance to back out of this. Oh, place the bet. Oh, no. This is not going to be good. You're going to lose, like, all your money, dude. You're going to come to the U.S. and you're going to be poor. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Terry, you won. Oh, my gosh, dude. Oh, look at all that money! You're gonna, you're gonna, oh, that's a good, dude. Oh, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be great. This, this is gonna be absolutely great. So, okay, so these last three things, um, we have pretty much no ties to what's going on here. So let's emigrate. Let's go now. Uh, let's see. We can't get to the U.S. Okay. That is a problem. Okay, so let's. Let's do the next best thing. Let's go to the United Kingdom. Uh, let's emigrate to the United Kingdom. Uh, and then from there, can we make it to the U.S.? Okay, no. Why did we think this was a good idea? Why, why can't you go to the U.S.? This is a problem. Okay, so we're in the U.K. Oh, boy. That's okay. That's okay. Alright, so let's get a job. That's okay. That's okay. We're, we're in the UK. So let's start out by getting a job as an exorcist. Uh, can we get a job as an exorcist? Can be an archbishop? Uh, no. Nothing. That's not helpful. Alright, so let's get a job. Uh, something, something easy, something that you can do that's gonna, uh, okay. That's a hand model. Uh, yeah, and I can't do that unless I'm a foot model, so that's kind of stupid. Uh, ooh, you know what, uh, what's a tour operator? No, let, let's just do that. Uh, how you, what is the first, which is the most respectable, uh, Jasmine, I guess? Okay. There we go. All right, so we're a tour operator. Uh, let's see if we can buy a haunted house. We can at least knock that off a list of things to do. This might be a bit tougher than I... Oh, there's a haunted ranch style. There's that. Should have probably just sat on my money. Okay, so there's a haunted ranch style. So let's... Uh, okay. So we can apply for a mortgage. Alright, so we have a haunted house. So at the age of... What is it? So at the age of 18 years old, we've emigrated to the UK and we have a haunted house. So this is going to start our... Um, this is going to start our whole Ghostbusters career here. So um, I'm going to hit the age up button. The goat of basketball. Uh, you know what? Let's do... Uh... uh Kobe? 
Why is Kobe the only choice? Okay. All right. Anyway, I think we're going to leave it here for this first episode. This is probably going to be like a, a multiple part series, depending on if we can get this done. Um, I'm just going to check real quick. I don't know if we're going to still be able to emigrate to the U.S. Why is it so freaking difficult? Why? Oh, well. Maybe I should have started off in the U.S. Maybe that was my bad. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Uh, if you want to keep see, if you want to keep seeing me do bit life videos, I am going to be posting the rest of this on the channel. So keep an eye out for more uploads of that. I really have to stop right now because my SD card's about full. Anyway, so thank you for joining. If you like what you saw, feel free to hit like and subscribe. Share us around if you know somebody who's into bit life and who might have already. Uh, finish this Ghostbusters challenge, so if you've got any tips on how to beat it, drop them in the comments below. Uh, it's, it's not 100% necessary, but it does help out my channel a lot, and it makes me feel a lot better about what I do. And hopefully we will see you next time tomorrow for some more murder, mayhem, and maiming for Spookymon. Bye, everybody! <laughs>